Well, we've got uh, cloudy, hazy days. I think there's some fires going on. That's the sun, not the moon. Incredible, isn't it? Anyways, so out and about. Very, very busy, productive weekend. Um, uh, so much happening. Hard to even know where to start. We've got some horses moved around for one. There's Lena. You might be thinking, why is Lena up here? Well, if you guys recall, or if you don't recall, let's come to the gate. Um, if you watched, and I'll probably put parts of it in this video, went took a ride with uh, Lena out back. Hello, big girl. Yeah, you got a fly on you. She says, can you scratch it? I don't know if you guys can notice, but she's losing a little bit of weight. She's been a busy horse. Anyhow, when I took her out back there, Peggy uh, threw a fit and was all upset, all kinds of stuff, and she's been doing that. And when Peggy leaves, Lena gets upset, and we thought, well, that's not cool. We don't want them getting upset so much. So, uh, being that Peggy's a little bit newer here, it made sense that maybe Peggy should make some more friends. So, Peggy's here. Nope, Lena's here. Luke's back there with Peggy. I'll show you in a bit. Um, we've also been very busy um, reorganizing these paddocks and I know there's many viewers that uh, haven't been here from the beginning. I don't know if any of you have been here from the beginning, but uh, the original idea of this place um, was quite grand, I guess you could say. And the the concepts, uh, talk about paddock, paddock planning, paddock ideas, and, and I don't know if any of you, you know, if you're going to get into building a place or something like that, you're always trying to strategically put things out and around and whatever. But this paddock, this paddock, and this paddock, and the forest, not that paddock. Oh, come on, finger, get out of the way. It's my own finger. Um, but the forest back there, come on, um, we're all supposed to be interconnected. So if you're going to have more than one horse, you know, you'd kind of think that maybe they should be together. And you have to figure out how to do that while giving them each their own space. So the, the, the plan for all the horse husbandry, as far as I'm concerned, is to... I know I get rather distracted, but look at this thing. She's just staring at me the whole time. What is it, Lena? What can I help you with? Yes, we're going to get busy today too. Yeah, we need scratches somewhere. She says, somewhere over here if you could. Distracted again. Is it up there? Where is it? Is it there? I can't tell. Oh, I got it. I think I got it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I'm up. it's hard to do with one hand holding the camera. Okay, back to our topic. Sorry, folks, I get easily distracted. The, uh, each of these three paddocks in the forest can be connected. Th this one, this one can be connected to this one, or this one to this one, or this one to this one, or this one, this one, and this one, or this one, and that one. You get the idea, I hope. Um, and, uh, the idea being that they would, um, we could, uh, you know, section off a horse if they were trouble or didn't get along or something like that or injured or whatever, but also be able to combine them all into what has been uh, termed as paddock paradise by some dude named Jamie Jackson. Never read the guy, I like his ideas though. And uh, that was always the plan. Um, and we got it done a while ago, and then we had more horses here, and then we kind of closed everything off and, and whatnot. But it's time to get back to that. It's time to go back to that. So we're, we're working on that idea again. And currently, um, you'll see here, the, this paddock here has one board across 
across there at the moment. There was some hot wire, I've taken that down. We've got a new board down at the end here, connected to this tree to the post. And uh, this alleyway will soon be properly opened back up again, where these horses just ridiculously go all the way down into the forest, roll around. I'm sure I've got some video of that somewhere. If I find it, I'll put it in. If I don't, I'll try it for another time. But they had a lot of fun being able to go through here. And then every horse had somewhere to eat. And the, the, uh, the, the key to this technique is to make sure there's always one more feeding station than there are horses. Um, so that everybody has a place to go and nobody has to fight. You also need to try to make it so that there aren't any choke points. Uh, that forest pathway or that horse alley, we call it, is quite wide. Two to three horses could pass abreast, which is not a word you get to use very often. It's kind of exciting. But, um, and then they'd be able to come down in here, forest, and um, which we've been kind of dumping some extra stuff in here, some logs and whatnot. So, um, and there used to be a fence here, as you can see these posts, but we've taken that down. Uh, redid the paddock over there in the forest, the forest paddock, which is a lovely little paddock. Um, but leaving some natural ground, grass and weeds and, and all, the, all the trees for shade, protection from the rain. Because uh, the horses would sometimes just stand, especially under this big huge cedar over here, and get out of the rain. So, uh, paddock planning is a big deal. I know this is maybe not that interesting of a of a video, but we're just giving, just trying to give you an idea so you can see how wide this really is. Um, uh, some ideas of, of how you can use your land to, you know, to get, to, to, to get space, enough space or more, more space out of it. And it's always kind of changing a little, you know, you're always kind of modifying a bit. So. It's kind of interesting. And then of course, once we, uh, once we really get going, hopefully, hopefully later this year, um, there'll be a little bit more going out that way and hopefully a path that we might, we might be able to get access to those two over there. That is part of the plan. So, um, yeah. Paddock planning, very difficult, very hard to do. Um, when you've got a, a sort of a wavy sort of land. You know, if it's just flat land, something easy, you can just make a bunch of squares or rectangles out of, it's no problem. But uh, it also isn't the most efficient use of land to do that either. So anyways, hopefully that's helped a few of you out there. Um, oh, and to let you guys know, we've sort of modified this area a little bit. Actually, it's another busy project. Uh, this kind of got, this area got cleaned up in here. Over to there, this ditch here, this fills up quite a bit with water. And we thought, hey, wouldn't it be a good idea if we could make a little area to kind of ramp down into here, walk our horses along, because it's all hard clay, and then back up a ramp right there. So we cut off a, I don't know, about an eight foot piece of log from there. That'll be an entry or exit point to go through here, up to there, and more practice. More obstacles, like we don't have enough. So, okay, well, hopefully that's been kind of interesting. Land and paddock, sort of planning, just random ideas, you never know. It might trigger something, so I thought I'd present that. Anyways, thanks for watching this far. Hopefully it's been interesting, and uh, we'll see you guys very soon. Lots coming up. Oh, here's Luke and Peggy. They're getting along great. And we'll feature them again very soon. Just hanging out together, looking good. And we have Zeus. And I got plans for this area for another day. <laughs>